my name is dr mohammad irfan today i would like to describe the normal ovary polycystic ovarian disease or hyperstimulation syndrome and the ovarian torsion on the ultrasound image this is very important as a sonographer you should recognize the normal ovary ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome and ovarian torsion and polycystic ovarian disease this is very important this is the image of the normal ovary you can see these these are cysts these are of variable sizes this appears as seen in the young girls between the age of 22 30 years so this is the normal image of the ovary this is the case of the ovary and upper stimulation syndrome this is the ovary you can see the multiple peripheral cysts cysts are range in the peripheral regions their central ecogenic stroma stroma uh, is bright you can see that cysts are more than 20 in number cysts are more than 20 in number their size is variable between 2 to 9 mm this is the criteria of the polycystic ovarian disease so what is the criteria of the polycystic ovarian disease cyst size between 2 to 9 mm and uh, their uh, uh, <clears throat> size should be between 2 to 9 mm more than uh, 20 cysts and ecogenic stroma this is the case of the typical polycystic ovarian disease with ecogenic stroma ovary should be enlarged uh, like more than 10 ml so the criteria of polycystic ovarian disease is more than 10 ml size peripheral cysts you can see that more than 20 in number size 2 to 9 mm this appearance of peripherally arranged cysts is called string of pearl sign string of pearl sign this is the case of the ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome you can see that ovary is massively enlarged up to more than 12 cm multiple enlarged cysts are noted ovary is enlarged more than 12 cm these cysts are arranged like the spoke wheel pattern the ovary appearance is most likely spoke wheel pattern you can see central area and this is the spoke wheel pattern characteristic of the ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome massively enlarged ovary more than 12 cm a large cyst and support wheel pattern. This is the characteristic of over and hyperstimulation syndrome. Another important case is the ovary and torsion. This is right ovary. This is the left ovary. In the right ovary, you can see that ovary is the enlarged. You can see that. And this this ovary appearance is hyperquake. You can see that this is hyperquake. And color Doppler flow is absent. So the criteria of the torsion of the ovary is ovary should be enlarged and there should be no flow on the color doppler. You can see that while this is the normal ovary where normal flow is ducted here the no flow is ducted ovary is enlarged hyperquake in appearance. This is the important case of the ovarian torsion. So you should know about the ovarian torsion ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome and polycystic ovarian disease and normal ovary this is very important so uh, today i discuss the ovarian normal image and its important pathology hopefully you will like it